The Fall of Constantinople The Fall of Constantinople, also known as the Conquest of Constantinople, was the capture of the capital of the Byzantine Empire by the Ottoman Empire. The city fell on 29 May 1453 as part of the culmination of a 53-day siege that had begun on 6 April. Mehmed II or commonly known as Mehmed the Conqueror was 21 years old when he conquered Constantinople, the future Istanbul. He was the son of Murat II. On the other side, it was Constantine XI Palaeologus the last emperor of the Byzantine Empire. He reigned from 1449 until his death in battle at the fall of Constantinople in 1453. Constantine's death marked the definitive end of the Eastern Roman Empire. Forces The Byzantine had an army of approximately 7,000 soldiers, 2,000 of whom were foreigners. The Ottomans had a much larger force. Recent studies and data from Ottoman archives state that there were approximately 50,000 to 80,000 Ottoman soldiers and 70 cannons that were used to destroy the famous walls of Constantinople which were considered impregnable at the time. Some aspects have to be clarified before we go to the next steps, like From the Byzantine perspective we had to mention the Greek fire which was used especially in naval combat and in siege battles for defense. The secret formula of Greek fire was lost with the conquest of Constantinople. It is considered the precursor of napalm. If we speak about the Ottoman side, they used for the first time cannons at a large scale in the siege of Constantinople. It can be mentioned the large cannon built by a Hungarian gunsmith named Orban. The cannon needed three hours of preparation between firings, mostly to cool it down. The Battle The siege of Constantinople had begun on 6 April and it last 53 days until 29 May 1453. The city had about 20 kilometers of walls, one of the strongest sets of fortified walls in existence. The city's fall also stood as a turning point in military history. Since ancient times, cities and castles had depended upon ramparts and walls to repel invaders. The walls of Constantinople, especially the Theodosian walls, were some of the most advanced defensive systems in the world at the time. These fortifications were overcome with the use of gunpowder, specifically in the form of large cannons and bombards, heralding a change in siege warfare. According to some sources, the siege of the fortress cost the Ottomans about half of their forces between 30,000 and 40,000 dead or wounded. On the other hand, the Byzantine Empire had lost in military terms around 5,000 soldiers. The end of the battle marked the victory of the Ottomans, the death of Constantine XI, and the end of the Eastern Roman Empire aka the Byzantine Empire.